uh, you know, these basic short form content usages, it may be good. Uh, it also does not pass the AI testing. Hello, hello, welcome to Money Karma. So this video is a continuation of our previous video on reviewing this software called creator.ai so thank you for joining us today if you haven't done so hit that subscribe button and hit the like button to give us a little boost in this youtube algorithm so uh without further ado let's dive into part two of some of the detailed features of this software so I am logged into the software, uh, creator.ai, as you can see, this is the dashboard. There's a, all, the, all the different uh, features here. So here are the things that you can do. You can create a blog. There's a lot of details on that. Just click it. It shows you all the items you can do with blogs, including a short stories. Uh, if you're a digital ad, you can use it to create Facebook ads, Google ads, and various different ads. So very useful tool. Or a quick ad that you may need for different platforms. E-commerce, if you need to write product 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 descriptions, and then social media, if you need to write any captions and things for your videos or your posts. Okay, and video. Uh, so this is for mainly YouTube. So your titles, your descriptions, and everything. So great for that. And then writer, so you can use it to write and improve your content. Okay. So today we would like to review some of the features that uh, I did not explore last time. So maybe I'll, I think we talked about the assist. Assist basically helps you to write content, uh, the, uh, mainly these features. So there's an image generator. So let's go test this out and see how it goes. Okay, so let's, um, I'm gonna go test something. Let's do um, description. Let's put a um, computer on a desktop, on a desk. On a desk with books and with books and other electronics. Okay, we'll do something like that. Let's see what it comes with. Style, we'll leave it. We'll leave this. Um, uh, we'll leave everything as is, blank, and we'll see what it comes up with. Okay, so it comes with the features of this software, the image generator. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here are the results. So it generated a cartoonish type of um, uh, images. So you have um, books and you have electronics, books, electronics, and this one that looks more realistic, right? So you can click this one and use it for, it's kind of blurred up. So I think they may, may have tried to make it unique by blurring it up. Okay, so let me create another one. So we'll do a horse running in the field. Okay, and we'll do a style. We'll do elegant, medium. I think we'll leave this as artistic. We'll choose something, edge, mood. Uh, put angry. Let's see what has. I'll put aggressive then. I think angry is fine. And we'll leave it as is. And then, okay, let's just create something. All right, so we'll let this run. Okay, so came back with the results. A horse running in the field. So this is artistic. And then this one looks more real, realistic. So um, I would say it's okay uh, in terms of the images that came back. So if you want to use this feature, it's part of this tool, image generator. So go, go, uh, go um, subscribe or log on and click the link below and then uh, check out this um, image generator. Okay, so the next thing I want to um, talk about is maybe the editor. So, so let's, I think this editor is the same thing as if you were, um, using Google Docs, or, but then it has a little bit of SEO elements. So you have the SEO and NLPs, and then uh, it basically uses the AI to generate some content. So let me test it with a keyword and let's see how it goes. 
All right, so I generated an outline. So this is called a how to make money on YouTube. Okay, so we'll try to see what this. So basically, you want to come and highlight it. I'm assuming, and you hit the paragraph. Um, let's see. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it came up with paragraph introduction. Oh, it gave you a ton of introduction. All right, so I think it's too much. All right, and then um, why is YouTube a great platform to make money? Okay, so we'll see what it does. Okay, so we'll make this an H2. Oop, not, not that an H2. Okay, so let me, let me uh, generate this and I'll come back. Okay, so I have generated some content, but it's um, been generating quite slow. It's kind of getting sluggish and stops. So basically, uh, I, once you highlight the portion you want, to, you want to write, you can select paragraphs, you can improve it, or you can rewrite it. So, so basically, I just want to add more content to this section. Uh, but I'm having some problems uh, loading. You see this blue line on the top? It's loaded, but it's not complete. So it's not able to generate the content that it, it, it needs for this section. Okay. Um, overall, the software, if you can see the content, uh, if you don't give it proper context, like right here, the introduction on the front, it basically just chooses a random introduction about AI. So it has, you have to give it a little bit more context by highlighting the section and then hit a paragraph and it'll write for that section based on the key terms on that section. Um, there's the, in terms of workflow for this one, it's a little bit hard and clunky to use because you have to kind of go in and highlight each section. I know there's some AI writers out there. You can just input the headers for each one and automatically it'll generate. And then um, most of the, the topics that, I mean, information that come out is very generic. And this, for example, this one just came out, comes out like a listicle. So some, some, some I know that maybe write a few sentences about something and then they list some items. So this one just came up, comes up with a bunch of lists. So if you highlight tips for promoting your YouTube video. Some are okay, right? So make your videos optimized for YouTube. Da, 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 da. So this is like nothing related to um, promoting your video. This is more like optimizing, right? So, so this is off topic for sure. Make sure your video is searchable. Make sure your video is sh shareable. So that's not promoting. Um, uh, let me see. Topics, video format, filming location. Uh, so this is not really kind of useful topics. Some very general uh, stuff on, on uh, creating a successful YouTube video. So nothing really specific that helps you. Okay, so it looked like it failed to load for some reason on this uh, on this. Uh, Thing. Let me let me go and pause this and let me go and load this whole whole article. Okay, so I'm finally finished loading the article. So it came back um, in terms of quality, it came up not as great in some areas. For example, ways to make money from YouTube videos. So it kind of highlights very generic one word you know phrases. It should it should give a little bit more detail, but I guess you have to program it. Okay, so case studies are kind of case studies are you successful YouTube earners. So I came back with a few examples. I don't know who these people are, but I know this Casey not, 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 nice that. Um, so, but uh, yeah, that's okay. At least it gave a few examples. And then FAQs, uh, I only came back with one FAQ question. And then here is a ways to optimize YouTube. It's like, okay, use keywords, create interesting, engaging videos, upload videos regularly. So this is not about optimizing your channel, I'm not sure, promoting. Maybe these are very generic, you know, so terms may have to expand it more. And then conclusion, when you highlight conclusion, it just delivers some random gibberish. So what it does is um, it seems like it doesn't know the context of the previous content written. So if, if, it, if your information is very generic, if you don't give it enough information, when it generates the paragraph, it'll generate something random. So it seems like it, not everything is kind of linked in this article. So that means... Whatever you write in all the topics, it may not flow. So you might have to go back and re-edit it. So, so overall, the, and then you can always add these SEO elements. There's many softwares out there that does this, like uh, Neuron Writer, Surfer, and different ones. So they, they may be a little bit more powerful because they may have a content score and different things like that. So I'm going to save this one real quick. And I'm going to put this through um, a couple of AI uh, detectors. And we'll see if, uh, if what comes up of it. Okay, we'll let this one load and we'll let this one load. 
This one may be too many words. Okay, so this is AI. Okay, so this is AI. So everything picked up as AI, all the content generated, 99%. Okay, so yeah, in terms of quality of content, it was not that great for this this one. And then, uh, okay, so there's one more thing here. It's called a surf feeder. So this is kind of a little bit of the SEL surfer function. And then uh, no one writer has it. I think also Market Muse and different uh, uh, things out there. I try to use it to create a new word. Uh, okay, so let me see. Um, I'll just say how to, how to use in AirPod. Okay, so... Early, it wasn't working properly, so you have to select the, maybe the Google that you want to use. Um, and then what, what it does, it does is it searches the top 10 of the SERPs, and it gives you a recommended um, articles that you can compete against. So, okay, I'm going to let that one load. Since I did this one last time, so it shows you the difficulty score of the keyword. And uh, I did this keyword last time. So you would have to generate the article. And then um, and add the keywords and compare to some um, some of the, the top competitors. So let me see if I can. And this is basically the same thing as that editor or writer that I used earlier. Um, so the same format, but uh, but the beater maybe adds an element of the top competitors in the in the niche. Okay, I'll let this load and see how many minutes it takes to uh, load. That. Okay, so the word is loaded. So it says it requires action. I'm going to click on it. Okay, let's click on it. Okay, so what it does, it comes back with all the top competitors. And so I'm assuming that what it does, if you select the competitors, uh, what it does, it, it will compare your article to them and then see how you can write a better article. So you can see that these, these are results are all the top from Apple, from various uh, top um, uh, Business Insider, Wikipedia, WikiHow. So these ones are really hard for you to overrank. CNET, so these ones are really tough to rank. So this keyword might be not easy to, not easy at all to rank. And look at the content score; they have all 60. So, um, so I'm not sure how good these content scores are for this one. So basically, do next, and I think you come here and you generate your outline and you start writing like what I did in the previously. And then what it does is you have to fill these, to fill these information here. It doesn't really give you like keywords that you need to target. So these are very basic. I think uh, software such as Rank uh, Rank Math has these basic features already. Um, so and then you know, key, but it does have a little bit of a you know tells you how many words you need to write. Uh, but this is a um, this is a very large range, 600 to 2500. That's a very large range. It should give an average. An average would be the best because uh, that range is just too big. Yeah. So in terms of tool wise, so this one is um. Uh, the the long form content writer is not as good, and also the the short form content uh, assist you know as you saw earlier uh, is okay. I can't say it is uh, exceptional. It does what it it, it needs to do, uh, but um, there's many many AI writers out there that are you know very good. They're excellent. Um, so in comparison to this one, um, I think for me I would not buy this one myself personally. But since I bought it just to test, I would probably, um, you know, cancel the subscription for this one. So this is a software I personally would probably give it a 5 out of 10 uh, for the basic, um, uh, you know, these basic short form content usages. It may be good. And then uh, it also does not pass the AI testing, which is a negative. The image generator was subpar. It generated some okay images, but I can, you know, of course, I can find better images on Pixel and different ones and do some editing to it. It makes it a lot nicer. Um, so image editor, and okay. Uh, in terms of long-form content, it pretty much uh, doesn't work out. I feel that it is not smart enough as uh, some of the other AI content writers out there. And this SEO beater, I think they're trying to mix too many things in here. So, so it makes it a little bit harder to concentrate on doing something good because you can't really beat softwares like Surfer or um, Neuron Writer and some of these ones out there that are in the market that are doing an excellent job. Um, so, so basically, yeah, if you if you want to check out the software, you can you can go and uh, do a little test trial and see if um, if it, you know if this is something that would um, fit your need. Because um, yeah, I think there's so many options out there that 
I'm not sure it's fully worth it. So I just ranked this one, as I mentioned earlier, 5 out of 10. So anyway, so this is the end of this video. I hope you liked it and uh, give me uh, any feedbacks on how I can improve and uh, on my videos and maybe any softwares or any items that you'd like me to review in the coming uh, um, uh, videos.